Welcome back to Barking Mad, the new and exciting comedy drama. Will Marcia ever get pregnant? Is this the end of the secret love affair between Sergei and Dawn? And has Keith really gone for good? Find out right now. Barking Mad. One hotel, one couple, two dreams. Everybody wants a piece of me. The pain and sorrow are all I see. We're together still, but you say my love won't pay no bills. If the sun don't shine, it'll probably rain. There's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train. Best chance we've ever had to give up now would be fucking mad. Everybody wants to get paid. There's jam tomorrow, cause there's none today. This would be worthwhile if I could see you smile. If the sun don't shine, it'll probably rain. There's a light in the tunnel, I think it's a train. Chance we've ever had to give up now would be barking man. La 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 la, I must be barking man. Do not forget that I will be taking a week off for holiday from tomorrow. How can we forget, Benedict? You've been announcing it every day since you booked the time off. This will be my first break since I started here many years ago. It's not been that long, Benedict. And we kept telling you to take some time off, but you refused. How could I take time off? There was no one to look after my kitchen for me. Blessing is here now, so you can relax. She's learnt so much from you. Well done, Blessing. Yeah, not many people could put up with Benedict for as long as you have. Yes, my Blessing has been my godsend. She will guard my kitchen for me while I am away on holiday. It will be my honour. Chef Benedict, I will guard it with my life. Good, good. I trust you completely, Blessing. But as a precaution, I have nailed the door shut with a block of wood. What? Why on earth would you nail the door shut? Because there is no key. Of course there's no key. It's the kitchen. Why would we need a lock to the kitchen? You didn't need to lock it before because I was here. But from tomorrow, I will be on holiday. So now it must be locked. And because there is no key, I used a plank of wood and some nails. And how is Blessing supposed to cook while you're away? Was there anything about Blessing cooking? Uh, you did. Oh, when did I say that? Just now, you said she would guard your kitchen for you. Yes, guard. Guard it from silly people like you from going in and messing around with my utensil children. You're unbelievable. I don't want to mess around with anything. But even if I did want to, your little utensil children belong to me and Mars, as does your precious kitchen. And if no one can go in the kitchen, how are we supposed to feed the guests? Blessing will need to get in there, Benedict. No. No, 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 no. C'est impossible. Chef Benedict, I have already prepared the dishes. Oui. Oui, oui, oui. But that was under my expert supervision. I was able to stop you from making many disasters that would have left you crying for a thousand years. So, what was your plan if no one is allowed to cook while you're away? You can order takeaways. Takeaways? For 30 people? You are joking. We can't afford that, Benedict. You can use somewhere local. It will be cheaper. Neither the Savoy nor the Ritz will deliver anyway. I checked. You're living in another world, Ben. An arrogant, crazy world where you're the king of arrogance. I am not the king of arrogance. I am the president. We got rid of the king during the revolution and as president, I declare, let him have takeaway! Really? Right, on that note, we'll move on to the next item on the agenda. We have more guests checking in this week, one today and a couple tomorrow. We'll have a full house then. Mon dieu, I will cancel my holiday. No, chef, it is all right, I can cope. No, I insist, my kitchen needs me. Benedict, take your holiday, we'll cope. Blessing is more than capable and Marcia and I can chip in if need be. Very well. Three people replacing me makes more sense. And that's it. Are you sure? Yep. Absolutely nothing else on my list. Unless anyone else has anything? No. no. Great, and neither do I. Thanks, Andy. Now to remove planks of wood from the kitchen door. What your plan was for today's meals, Ben, I'll never know. Ha! Come on, children, stop playing with your food. I said stop! Do as your mother says. I don't know where you have learned to waste food like this. We both know where they've learned it. Yes, things are very different here. What are you going to do today? Where will you look for work? I will start with the job centre after going to the housing office. Good. And make sure you go to all the agencies you visited yesterday. The more they see you, the better. It shows you are keen. You are right. And you will have less time to lie around feeling sorry for yourself. Or just to lie around with that woman. I thought we agreed. Morning, Katrina. Morning, Sergey. How are you all? Hello, Dawn. We're very well. Better and stronger than ever. When will you leave here? Have you heard anything about your house yet? Not yet. Nothing since the letter about nothing in particular. I was thinking of going down there later today. Did you say you were going over there, Sergey? Maybe we could go together. Yeah. There's always a long queue. We, we could keep each other company. Yeah. He won't be going there today. 
He has other plans. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we could take the kids to the park this afternoon. He'll be out all day. I've decided to take the day off and we'll be doing something together as a family. Right. Oh, well, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Uh, maybe I'll see you all later when you get back. Have fun. Goodbye, Sergey. Come on, kids. Let's go and sit over by the window for breakfast today. Come on, quickly. What are you looking at? Nothing. So... So what? Well, talk to me then. Why are we here? Why do we need a reason? We both like coming to this cafe. It's a nice little break from the madness. I can't believe Benedict nailed the kitchen shut. He's so funny. Yeah, very funny. Ha ha ha. Now why are we here? You've been acting weird since yesterday afternoon. I have not. Yes, you have. Good weird or bad weird? Good, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely good. Well, you look extremely cute, so whatever it is, it suits you. Keep it up. Oh, I plan to. For nine months, at least. You should. Longer if you can. Unless it's another one of your diets. So even if the diet's working, you don't want me to do it? No. You shouldn't be messing around with your body like that. It's not good to interrupt the natural flow of things. Well, it's only for a while. And I suppose it is a natural flow, really. Even though we did it unnaturally. So what does this one entail, then? Oh no, it's not going to make you go to the toilet all day, is it? <laughs> not again. I still haven't forgotten the smell from last time. <laughs> no, but then again, maybe. Only because it'll be pressing on my bladder, though. What? No, Marcia, you need to stop it straight away. I'm not having you do this to yourself. You could do some serious damage this time. <laughs> but women do it all the time, babe. I mean, it can be dangerous and things can go wrong, but the chances are I'll be fine. We'll both be fine. Of course I'll be fine. You're not expecting me to go on it as well, are you? No, I'm not expecting you to go on anything. I'm just expecting. Expecting what? Expecting. What, babe? Our babe. I can't even tell you how confused I am right now. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't think it could have gone any better if I tried. What? What couldn't have gone any better? <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. Figured what out? Come on, stop laughing and tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pregnant, darling. We're going to have a baby. A baby? Yes! A baby? For real? Yes, a baby. Our baby, for real. Look, I can't believe it. That's fantastic. I don't believe a baby. We did it. I know. The clinic called me with the results of the last test yesterday, but I wanted the moment to be right to let you know. Oh, I'm so happy I could cry. Well, I have been crying a lot. I think I'm going to cry too. We're going to be parents. I want to be a dad. A dad! Shh. I want to scream too though. I just knew we wouldn't have had the conversation without interruptions back at the hotel. Oh, it nearly killed me to have to hold it until now. Every time I looked at you, I, I almost told oh, you. Darling, this is wonderful news. Absolutely wonderful. I love you. I love you too. And soon we're going to be a family! <laughs> a bigger family? <laughs> we're already a family. I don't believe you've been on a crazy diet while you've been pregnant, though. You're going to come off it straight away. Eh? The diet. It stops right now. I'm not having you pooping out my son. What? I am not going to poop out our son. Or daughter. How do you know? For starters, it's a different channel. And for seconds, I was never on the diet. That was just you being a bit on the slow side of slow to get it today. I'm too excited to argue with you. We're having a baby. We're having a baby. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's so wonderful. Masia, thank the Lord for his messes. You must be over the moon. Oh, the moon, sun and stars. I'm so happy. And a little bit scared. There's no need to be scared. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Yes, it is very good. But you need to be very careful. No heavy lifting. Keep your feet elevated and you mustn't work anymore. Never let people touch your stomach. And don't get too excited about being pregnant, just in case. Blessing! What? It is better not to tempt fate. But still... But still, it took a long time for it to happen. Okay, thanks Blessing, wise advice. And you too, Dawn. Thank you both. I don't think anything could spoil my mood today. Good for you. How did Andy take the news? Oh, he's like a little schoolboy. And he keeps making such a fuss over me. Oh, lovely. You both deserve it after all you've been through. Oh. 
Thanks, Dawn. Oh, Annie's been buying me little gifts every hour on the hour since he found out. That's so sweet. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Dawn? Dawn! Blessing, would you mind going and checking on her, seeing what's wrong? There is no need to check on her. I know what's wrong. So what's wrong? I will tell you after. You have a guest, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Summersby Hotel. How may I help? I'd like to check in, please. I'm sorry? I'd like to check in. Uh, could you say that again, please? I'd like to check in. Uh, slower? I'd like to... Yeah, so it needs to be way slower. I'm sorry. I'd like to check in. I have a room booked for two nights. Oh, dear. Just one moment... Please. You don't need to talk slowly to me, Hen. I can understand you perfectly. Blessing. Could you go and get Andy, please? He's better at accents than me. Certainly. What language shall I tell him? It's English. Well, Scottish. Probably Glaswegian. Yeah, that's right. Good, solid Glaswegian accent. At least you recognise perfection, even if you can't understand it. Yes. We're having lovely weather. Hurry, Blessing, hurry. Weather? This man be pammy drivel isn't he weather? If you're not blown down from one side of the glen to the other in less than three seconds and the only possible manoeuvre left is the front call because of all the rain, then you have no experience, weather pet. <laughs> um, please speak English. Please speak English. Good morning and welcome to the Summersby Hotel. How can I help you? Hello, I'm from EFM Builders. It start some renovation works. Renovation works, are you sure? I'm pretty sure. This place certainly looks like it could do with a makeover. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's true. I guess your photos online were a bit out of date. Aye. Why well, not you two? Doesn't anyone speak Scottish around here? Uh, whether or not it needs a makeover, the truth remains that we definitely didn't request one. Summer's be hotel, right? Yeah, that's right, but we haven't booked any building work. Maybe you got the wrong address or hotel or something. Well, hang on, I got the paperwork in the van. My boss would have done the visit, so maybe I'm at the wrong place, but I don't think so. This is the only hotel in the area, right? Be right back. Sure, how long before I can check in? Yes, <laughs> it, it is quite chilly today. <laughs> Hello, Marcel, what is the problem? Hi, Benedict, what are you doing here? Blessing said you needed help. I do, but not from you. Where's Andy? I don't know. Tell me what your problem is, I can help. <sighs> I really need Andy, though. He's good with accents and... Uh, this gentleman has an extremely heavy Glaswegian accent and I can't understand a word. It's all right, I'm sure he's in the office, I'll call him. Hi babe, could you come up to reception please? There's a guest here. Uh, I think he wants to check in but I can't under... Yeah, 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 Scottish. Yeah, my only nightmare accent. If you could, good. See you in a bit. <laughs> yes, I'm looking after myself. You know, it's going to be a long nine months if you keep this up. <laughs> Okay. Okay, just get up here as quick as you can. He's been here for a while now. Listen, Pat, all I want you to do is check into my room. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, sir. If you could just bear with me. just. Uh... Oh, it's coming up ten minutes now. This is ridiculous. It's all right, Marcia. Do you want to check in? Do you have a reservation? Oh, I do, for tonight and tomorrow night. And my name's Ewan Kennedy. I'll get that shit in for you. Marcia, his name is Ewan Kennedy and he has a reservation for tonight. But how? It's English in the first accent. Of course I can speak it. We are not like you slow talking oafs. You look like cows chewing on their card when you talk. Hello, my name is slow talking Englishman. You must talk with speed and passion. Hello, my name is Benedict, top blooded Frenchman. Or, hello, my name is Ian, English Scotchman. Alright, guys, go. I mean, not all angry though. That was a bit of a stereotype there. Just like I'm sure the French is not all arrogant. <laughs> of course you're all angry. Look at where you live. It is cold and miserable and closer to England than my beloved party. Here you go. Clearly shows the Summersby Hotel and that's the right address, isn't it? Just a moment. Let me get this gentleman checked in and I'll take a look at it. I'm sure we can get the misunderstanding sorted out. Andy! Perfect timing. Benedict's helping me with the guest, but this builder has turned up saying something about renovations. Could you sort it out? It must be another building. Except that I have photos from when my boss came and did a site visit. What? Look, see. Start with the dining room reception areas, then making our way through the rooms and so on. When? Did this happen? It's impossible. Andy? Andy, what have you done? Uh, I can explain. Your name's on here. Contact, signature, special requests, you better 
Explain. Oh dear, someone's in trouble. Yeah, someone's in trouble. They're in trouble with her or making trouble for me. Uh, we need to upgrade so we can reach our four-star goal. Remember that goal? Of course I remember that goal. And we agreed we'd catch up with our bills a bit first, then start saving towards getting them done. Didn't we? Isn't that what we agreed? Let's talk about it later, when we're in the office. We have a builder waiting to start building things with photographic evidence and signed papers. Andy, I think we definitely need to discuss this now. Don't you? Whoa, are they always like this? We're always arguing about something. It is because they have no money. Do you work here? I'm the chef. I keep the place going. Ah, uh, don't know if I could stand work in this atmosphere. Why don't you leave? Why would I leave? They are my family. We argue and we make up and we argue again. But how? How did you pay for it? Where did the money come from? You don't need to worry about the money. It's a good investment. Oh my god. You got a loan. The sooner we're forced to start, the sooner we can start making proper money. You promised! We agreed and you promised! And you signed us up for emergency housing without telling me. You're right, I did. I signed us up to make money behind your back. You signed us up to make more debt behind my back and broke your word to me in the process. We never discussed emergency housing as an option. Alone, we discussed. And I said, no more loans. And you agreed. And yet, here we are with another loan. We can afford it. No, we can't. Maybe at the moment, we can just about cover the payments. But in the long term, we can't afford it. We can't afford the interest payments that will drown our future. It's because of loans that we're in this mess we're in. And we're about to have a baby. You're having a baby? That's wonderful. We must celebrate. I will make a cake. Shut up, Benedict. We can't afford a cake. We can't even afford a baby anymore. We can't afford anything anymore. We can't afford a family. Moss, you... Moss, wait. Okay, guess we won't be starting a day then. I uh, wouldn't you think so. I don't have anywhere else to go, unfortunately. Can you check me in? No, but do not worry, I will get blessings. Then I must get started on a beautiful celebration cake that will make the Queen of England jealous. Everybody wants a piece of me. A pain and sorrow are all I see. You've been listening to Barking Mad, the new and exciting comedy drama. Is this the start of a new family life for Andy and Marcia with a new baby? Or will the Lone Saga split them forever? And how will the Summersby Hotel survive without Chef Benedict? Tune in next time to find out. Barking Mad is created, written and produced by Jacqueline Malcolm, Carol Malcolm and Marvo Gregorio de Souza. Directed by Jacqueline Malcolm. Executive producer, Eva Christine Ingram. Original music by Hugh Miles. Cast star David Gurney, Janet Coomer, Ian Pink and Josie Mills. Barking Mad. One hotel, one couple, two dreams. La 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 la, I must be barking mad.